Hello, today's topic is scaling and setting the axis parameters. One of the requirements is to change the axis scaling when the application is running in the machine. Now we have this editor and currently our setting is rotary axis. We have one rotation equals 360. We have this hexadecimal value. Let's just briefly go to calculator and recalculate this to decimal value. We say hexa 20,000. That means 131072. That means that for 131072 increments, we have 360 units in our application. Now, sometimes you need to change something and usually some kind of a gear ratio. And now the question is how to do it, that you don't need to open this project, change the gear ratio, then log in into your PLC load. That means stopping a machine and then run machine again. How to do it? while machine is running. So there are function blocks which are needed for this change. Function block that does this change, it's called, ah, let's hit F2 and find it. And then we will just add text, SMC, change gear ratio. Now let's add axis zero one. And we will just copy paste now that we know the name. But this function block changes the gear ratio, but the values are not taken into account immediately. What is needed is axis to be reinitialized. And there is also another function block that can do that. This function block is called again. Let's hit F2 search SMC tree reinit drive. Let's call it axis zero one. Again, we will just copy now that we know the name. Let's now go to motion function blocks and call our instances to instance call change key ratio F2 instance call rain it drive. And again, let's move it to the same line with other instances. And of course, mandatory field is axis. So let's make a visualization for those two function blocks. And again, we will enter our administration. Now let's make it a bit bigger. Visualization toolbox frame. SMC. Change gear ratio. OK. Let's immediately connect with our instance. And let's put it here. Now we don't see this, so let's make it a bit bigger. Good. And now let's add another frame for our SMC3 reinit drive. Now we can keep it here. Again, reference to our instance. Let's log in. And let's run. We have everything running and first let's open our axis control. And what we will do is enable our drive. We will execute set position to zero. 
and we will do one small test we will execute move relative for one turn so 360 velocity let's put it 50 with acceleration 500 and the acceleration 500 now if i execute this function block the axis will do one turn and you will see the motor will also do a one turn so let's execute it and this is it if we go to our administration we have here parameters which are ratio technical units numerator and denumerator and also position period those parameters are the parameters visible in our axis if we go to watch and we check our axis and then we scroll a bit down we will find our parameters and also period now period equals modulo 360 but we see that this is the numerator and numerator are some values that we do not have in our editor when scaling if we open our calculator and if we check 131072 let's change it to standard so 131072 divided by 16384 equals 8 if we go to 360 divided by 45 equals 8 so complete scaling was divided by 8 the numerator is 131072 and we know that you can divide this number with some number which equals 2 on exponent n that means that you can divide it with 2 4 8 16 32 and so on however the numerator you should also be able to divide with certain number and the highest number that you can divide the numerator that the result is whole number is 8 if you try to divide 360 with 16 you will get 22.5 and its decimal number what we will do let's go back to codices is set up gear ratio 2 to 1 it means that we want two rotations for motor to equal 360 degrees in our axis we will use the original number from our editor so 131072 this is one rotation of the motor will equal half of modulo value 180 and period we will keep 360 as it is in this way motor will have to run two rotations now let's execute now when you want to change this you have to make sure that the drive is not running so go to axis control and disable the drive execute to ensure that all data is correct it's best to reinitialize the axis in this way you are sure that the data you put is valid and the axis can work normally let's do it and axis is reinitialized successfully now let's make again a test axis control first we enable the drive the drive is running let's execute set position and now let's execute again move relative and check how motor is going to move in correspondence to our axis one turn two turns exactly how we expected it this is it for this video thank you for watching if you like it please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.